Welcome back to my basic web security tutorial. Last chapter we talked about uh, antivirus and uh, this chapter we're going to talk about active protection. Uh, active protection is a, is a similar or a part of a Risen Shield. I think it's, it's a part, but I might be wrong. I'm not a computer security expert. <laughs> So uh, I'm I'm using a spybot search and destroy. I'm not sure it says uh, as you might have seen on the icon here. It's, it talks about processes, uh, the number blacklisted and uh, known rating available. I'm not too much sure what it does, but I know it uh, it affects cookies uh, because cookies is uh, an aspect of uh, of malware. Let me pause this for a second. I will show you what I'm talking about. So I went back to the malware uh, page that I had before and I went on the grayware section. Here below is uh, uh, it talks about the spyware. Here you see it's it uh, it's a software that installs component on a on a computer for the purpose of recording web surfing habits, primarily for marketing purposes. So you see um, cookies can do that. You, uh, traditionally cookies um, were made because uh, servers. Uh, it was a time where servers weren't as po powerful because the the soft hardware uh, prices were prohibitive. So they have uh, there were more distributing HTML pages. But now with advance of uh, the prices, the the advance of mathematics and uh, information technology, uh, the power is uh, is a lot better. Sorry, it's not mathematics because the mathematics of computer information has been uh, set a long time ago. It's more uh, um, um, uh, 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 active mathematics, you know, like uh, f formulas, you know, uh, things that you're going to do uh, right away. Anyway, <laughs> again, I'm uh, diverging. So, going back to uh, the cookies. So, usually what happens is uh, software, it, it, their marketing, let's say their uh, phone telemarketer, they call you and they say, hello, we're such a company, we offered uh, such services, uh, or do you need uh, do you need this or do you have this problem? Do you have that problem? Uh, we offer very nice solutions uh, with uh, with with payments, uh, s uh, sh slow payments. It's going to cost you less than if you bought this to uh, have the solution uh, fixed and stuff like that. And they're, they're, they'll, they'll keep a log of their conversation and they'll try to learn stuff about you. Is the person influential, easily influential? Is the person uh, has this problem or they had that problem? If they talk about something else, they're going to know it. If you say, oh no, but someone else, they're going to try to, uh, they're going to say that that person has a nice network. Uh, somebody, uh, the boss might call and, uh, and and try to have more information about that person uh, or, or try to have that contact uh, stuff like that they're gonna log information about you and this is legal the, sorry legal not illegal legal as if you talk about it to a cop you'll say it's okay <laughs> that um, it would be in a crime crime stopper in that case Oh, sorry, phone buster. Phone buster in that case. If you call phone buster, it will tell you it's okay. What they can't do though is if that person knows another person inside a phone company, they have that, they logged in that information and say, and they give it to the boss, and his boss give it to the other boss, and the other boss say, oh, that client is a really good potential. Uh, he's not interested in another product, this product that we're offering right now, right now but we might we we have all our interest in knowing more about us about them so it, we're not so scrupulous and we're gonna use illegal tactics to know more about that person so uh, it, the one way would be to send somebody to legally send somebody to uh, rummage to your garbage and uh, to see more stuff about you this is legal when you put garbage to uh, the street it's per public property anyone can come and rummage to your garbage uh, the other way around, illegally, but much easier, would be to call that uh, uh, phone company contact and have your uh, your um, uh, 
line tapped. There we go. So, so this is uh, active protection. I'll go to more details about this. Let me continue. <laughs> I cut myself my own flow. <laughs> so, yes. Uh, uh, and then they're going to listen to their conversation. And they're going to say, oh, this part we don't need. This part we need. This part we don't need. And this is all going to be stored inside a cookie. If we do, if we have illegal cookies or ma malware cookies, it all is going to be stuck in, uh, inside that cookie. Uh, I think most companies do not use bad cookies, but uh, I think like most companies, they don't uh, give viruses, but a lot of uh, companies uh, do it. So uh, you might want to uh, block cookies and uh, other uh, aspects of uh, of things. Uh, uh, information that they're not getting so as I told you before what happened before is they couldn't uh, themselves because they didn't have the power the, the CPU they couldn't themselves log everything that they're learning about you while they're doing the legal conversation so what happened is they put cookie on your browser and they learn stuff to that cookie and at the end of the of your uh, of your session, of your uh, there's an amount of time that you're spending without timing out. At the end of it, they would uh, they would uh, press a button. They would say submit stuff, or they would find a way for you to submit your cookie, and then it would get it, and then it would uh, learn stuff about it. But you would have to uh, to to uh, submit it. And with now with the new technology, uh, they can uh, at, at, they have a timeout. So let's say 30 minutes. Uh, after 30 minutes, that you're not using their website, they uh, they have your session. They uh, extract information from your session. Then they store it at the same place where they would store a cookie. But now they don't they don't need a cookie. They can do it even if you don't have a cookie, and you don't have to submit anything. They can record it without uh, you submitting anything. So that's an advantage. But the the downside from them is they have to uh, 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 listen to your or rather log your your actions, and they have to extract the information one, once it's done. So that's their their downside. It uses more CPU. So that's that's the main reason that you want to uh, log uh, uh, have this uh, active protection. Uh, it would be that you're you're blocking bad cookies. Uh, bad processes. I'm not sure what's processes, but I'm just assume that it's cookies. They're blocking bad cookies. 